So neurotransmitters are chemicals that neurons use that are released by neurons to communicate with other neurons. Um, and, you know, here's a neuron, right? We talked before about, you know, the dendrites, which are largely the input end. Uh, you know, the soma, which is essential for cell maintenance and upkeep. Uh, the axon hillock, which is where that, you know, decision is made. If they, the, uh, the charge difference across the membrane reaches negative 55 inside versus out, you're going to get you know, the opening of voltage-gated sodium and potassium channels, the initiation of an action potential, and its propagation down the axon to its end. And at the axon terminal, right, you're going to, that depolarization is going to result in the opening of voltage-gated calcium channels. Um, you know, the interaction of calcium-activated chemicals with the docking complex that holds the vesicles close, right, to the... Uh, uh, to the to the, uh, the the presynaptic terminal membrane, and then the fusion, exocytosis, and the release of neurotransmitter driven by concentration gradient floor force into the cleft, and then it'll bind right with um, receptor proteins that are expressed by the postsynaptic cell. You know, let's say on the dendrites, right? For example, if there's an exodendritic synapse. Um, and these receptors can, of course, be metabotropic, right, where they release G proteins, which can then activate second messengers and third messengers, you know, and generate all these changes in biochemical cascades, resulting even in changes in gene expression and protein synthesis. Um, but they can also interact with, uh, you know, ionotropic uh, receptors or ligand-gated channels, which will open up, uh, you know, um, channels within the structure of those receptors and allow for sodium or potassium or calcium and alter the, you know, the membrane polarization, either depolarize and excite the neuron or hyperpolarize and inhibit. Um, so neurotransmitters, very important chemicals that are utilized to uh, have one neuron, you know, communicate with another. 